Uh, these should be the yellow golden back neocaridinas and my lovely assistant, Miss Kathleen, my loving wife, is going to open these. She already cut them. She kind of jumped the gun, but we're going to go for that because the rest of it's not open yet. You didn't have to tell him that. I did. Yeah, fake it's all cutting. good because we have. Okay, so she did fake cutting. Okay, here we are. Let me send you some newspaper. Oh, yep. good comics. Thanks. So we, yeah, we always get some used to newspapers. Sunday comics, yep. my favorite. And Tommy, I know you're going to see this because if nothing else, I'll shoot you the link. And uh, well packed. These were sent. I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. 24th. Okay, so today's the, the day of the label. Okay, so I think that's Monday and this is Thursday. So, yeah, that sounds right. Um, and there they are, Y25, so 25 yellows. And 924th was last Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Week this ago. past Tuesday? Because my sister's... No, that, okay, that's not right then. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's okay. So, because I, I, I've got to go back and check the messages, right. but I'm pretty sure they just shipped we'll, Monday or Tuesday this week. We'll just Probably clip Monday this week. No, nah, we'll leave it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll clip it. But yeah, I think they ship Monday this week. Uh, and there they are. So now we just got to open these. And uh, there's usually start of the tape right there. And then after we get these things open, and let's see. No, it's not damp at all. Sometimes they get a little damp. That's okay. Then we'll go do the drip thing. And I think before I do that, I'm going to do a partial water change on the tank. They're going to go in the tank that I pulled out all those red cherry shrimp and all the hornwort from. Uh, I just did the video on that on a tank teardown. And these are going to be the new residents. Uh, and it's covered with mulm on the bottom from all the hornwort. It sheds. And, uh, and that's okay. So the, the cherry shrimp... I couldn't believe it. I thought there'd be, you know, maybe a dozen or so in there. There's probably over a hundred. So I need a bucket to put these little guys in. So I'm going to pause for a second and go get a bucket. Okay, so here we are, the outer bag. And then the inner bag can go in the bucket. And I think what we should do is get the pair of scissors and we can cut the... You're just going to put them right in the bucket? I am. Oh. And then we'll uh, start drip acclimating. Um, there they are. So, and once again, they're shipped in Java moss, which is cool. There's not any up there. I don't, uh, I don't think I don't so, but just snip a little at it. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna just pour them out. Yep. Uh, oh no. Okay, wait. Oh wait. I know they're all gonna be in there. I'm yep. gonna, I'll get them. Okay, good. Sorry guys. Because yeah, out. they stick. They're in the moss. The moss didn't come out yet. So, let me back up. Get a little focus here. Right. We're going to have to put a little more water in there to do mm -hmm. this. Right. Are there any left in the bag? Probably. Hanging on for dear life. Probably. Lie. There's right there. All right, so there we are. There they are. They look great. They look absolutely fantastic. So we'll pick up in a And there they are. This is the tank they're gonna go in. I still got some red cherries in there I'm gonna have to fish out at some point. And there's the drip and we'll let this run for a while. I'll stick the top suction cup on, maybe it'll help. And there they are. All right, so the drip's been going about an hour and 45, and buckets come up about halfway, so I'm going with it's probably gonna be okay. Um, and then we'll, I'm also doing a partial water change on this tank, it's a little cloudy. So we'll uh, finish the water change and put them in. All right, so there they are, all dripped in, in a chunk of java moss. 
and let's catch them out and see how many there are. Uh, it said 25 on the bag and that's what I'm going for. All right. So let's see what you see. I'm gonna turn this down some and then you can see the bucket, you can't see the fish or the tank. And it's an odd angle. So let's try that. So first the Java Moss. And now I've got three chunks of the Java Moss. I have never had this much Java Moss in my life. It's very cool. I've got some Christmas Moss, also very cool. I guess there's a lot of really cool kinds of Moss. And there's a couple snails. And they, they get along just fine, but I don't like them. So I'm gonna catch them out. And you'll notice this post-it, I'm gonna move it. It says one wafer. Uh, we are going out of town tomorrow and my neighbors are kind enough. Let me reach across here to dump those snails in a measuring cup full of water. Then I will go dump them somewhere else. Um, and so I put post-its on all the tanks and I'm putting a video up. I was gonna make it uh, private just to them. Uh, kind of an instructional how, how uh, go ahead and feed the fish while we're gone. They're only, they only need to feed them one day except the little fry I have. Um, but I thought, you know what, I will make it public and that way maybe maybe somebody else will get something out of it and, and we'll see if it works or not. And, and if it does, then, uh, you know, maybe you get something out of it and you'll know what to do if you go somewhere. So I'm going to try and catch these out with this shrimp net with all this extra water in here. So what I'm going to do to make it a little easier is just tilt the bucket and... Uh, Oh, there's a bunch, and I'll never count those. Um, everybody hold still. Yeah, there's too many to count. Let's see if you guys can see them or not. There they are at the bottom. Maybe we'll make a still out of that. And in they go. They are very cool. And Tommy, I just cannot thank you enough for this. This is really nice. I owe you big time. There's another net full. Glenn from GB Shrimp suggested two other nets. Uh, one that doesn't collapse, because this one does collapse, and it makes uh, makes it hard to empty sometimes. And I don't want to screw up any of these little creatures, because they are very cool. And another one is square or rectangular. I haven't checked them out yet. I'll go see if I can find them. Uh, Glenn's in, I believe, Scotland, so I know he's got access to things we don't, and vice versa. Uh, nope, still in there. All right, let's hold the net and try and get it out without... That's my big beef with when the net collapses. I do not want to crush anything so little and delicate as a shrimp. There are little crustaceans, little uh, arthropods. Uh, and they jump. So you got to really be careful with them not jumping out of your net. That's it, empty bucket. So now I'll scoop out that, these last little bits of java moss. You know, waste not, want not. I don't know what you're going to see in here. This tank's a cloudy mess right now. Uh, I see down at the bottom there, going along that little stem. Uh, there, like I said, there's red cherry in here, and there's some right at the front. And I will finish getting those out. They were very elusive. They did not want to be caught. But I have a home for them in, in another tank that I did in another video. Uh, the video that I put all the little Crebensis fry and the one uh, Albino Cori fry. Um, maybe I'm blowing something because I think that's coming out tomorrow. For it's, uh, it's When I released it, I released it for members only. So the tank that all the uh, little red cherries are in, there were some nice ones. When I took this tank apart, there was hornwort down to about here. And uh, I'd seen a Keeping Fish Simple video, and Nick was talking about how he doesn't think shrimp do well unless they get a lot of light. And I, I thought, you know, that must be true because I am not seeing any shrimp. Once in a while, I'll drop an algae wafer up front and I'll see one or two shrimp come out. When I took the hornwort out, got ready to take shrimp out, I ended up taking out, got to be close to 100. So, don't know. But anyway, there's more of the yellows right there uh, on the uh, substrate, which is all the mulm from the hornwort that just dropped. 
So they're moving around in there. There's a bunch of them. So there we go. I know a few were saying you couldn't wait to see them. Me too. So they'll grow. They will grow. And they will make little little ones and more and more and more. I love shrimp. They're just fun to watch. As always, you know, I appreciate you watching very much. I appreciate your, uh, your support. I love your comments. And I will always get back to your comments. Sometimes I miss them and I pick them up later. Uh, but I will always get back to your comments. And uh, as always, thanks for looking.